it is a major part of a protein called collagen, which is the major part of our skin, our bones, any connective tissue. And we're using proline and proline containing peptides to understand what makes collagen such a stable molecule that it is so abundant in us and in mammals. But we also use proline for um, catalysis, stereoselective catalysis that enables the synthesis of molecules that could ultimately be used as um, therapeutics. A lot actually is, but there's also this element of serendipity. If an experiment doesn't give you what you originally looked for, it could actually be even more exciting. We were looking for an electronically active material with an electron donor acceptor system. So we made the appropriate molecules and when we analyzed what we got out, we actually realized that we were weaving on the molecular level. And a model of this weave is what you can see here in front of us. And we're now looking into making all kinds of cool things with this, we're trying to turn this into a sensor, into um, an electronically active material, but in a different way. And this is where really serendipity has brought us something that we could have not predicted. Well, historically, that has been very much true, but things are changing and quite rapidly. So for example, in my research group, we have 50-50 men and women. So I would tell all of the girls, you know, if you're excited about chemistry, go for it. It is fun and the environment is welcoming. And to all of the boys amongst you, you know, welcome the girls because it is so much more fun to be in a diverse environment. It would be so fun to have this brain power of the next generation from all over the world together in one room. So it didn't take me long to say yes when I was asked to moderate. Well, it's true, the languages from the different countries are different. But one of the other cool things about chemistry is that we have one global language that is the same no matter where you are in this world. We have the same formulas with which we can communicate with each other. So um, we will focus on chemistry and talking chemistry will hopefully bring the world closer across any country borders that might be there.